Good afternoon. It's one o'clock and time to start the Be Ready Utah webinar. My name is Wade Matthews. I am the Be Ready Utah Manager for the Utah Division of Emergency Management. Welcome and thank you for joining us. As you may know, unfortunately, unfortunately, we had to cancel the 2020 Be Ready Utah Expo due to COVID-19. And our same Expo planning team has worked very hard to bring you this Be Ready Utah webinar during 2020, a year of disasters. From pandemic to earthquakes to locusts, it seems like we've seen it all this year. So uh, we wanted to take this opportunity and provide this great emergency preparedness training. Now all the sessions offered today are, will be, and, and yesterday, if you missed yesterday, will be recorded and posted for public viewing on the Be Ready Utah channel at, you, at youtube.com slash user slash Be Ready Utah. And I'm actually going to post that into the chat window right now for everyone if you uh, want to save that for later. Uh, please feel free to watch those uh, again and share them with others. And I'm going to share my screen next and just uh, give you a quick view of your control panel here. All right, so this is your control panel that you should have on your screens as attendees of the webinar. Uh, you have some options, you can adjust audio, you can see the attendees, you uh, can look at the handouts, I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. And the questions chat box is where you will enter your questions that you can ask throughout the sessions today. Also at the top of your uh, Zoom, or I'm sorry, your uh, GoToWebinar screen, you have an option to zoom the size of the, uh, of the imaging, the screen, so it's legible to you. Take a screenshot if you'd like to save something uh, off the screen. Um, and here is what the chat, uh, the handouts box looks like. So in the handouts box, we do have uh, the bios, the course descriptions and bios of our instructors today, as well as some of the handouts they may want to share with you. Okay. Um, Feel free to enter your questions anytime throughout the sessions that you're watching. And then the last 15 minutes of each session will be used to uh, address those questions and provide answers to you. We also will be playing some videos throughout uh, our breaks and maybe during some of the presentations. And at those times, you might want to turn up your audio to make sure that you can hear the sound on the video. Some of them might be a little bit low. We apologize for that. Uh, the webinar will run continually until five o'clock, so you will not need to log in again between sessions as long as you don't exit. You can just stay in the webinar for the entire time. But as I said, from about the quarter to the hour until the top of the hour, we will take a break before the next session begins, and that may be a good time to use the restroom. We will also be showing some uh, sponsor messages from, from some of our sponsors during that time as well. Now today's schedule will consist of four sessions. The first being when the grid lets you down, no power, no problem. How to stay warm, cook safely and see without power by Jonathan and Kyleen Jones. Followed by lessons learned from an earthquake by Jeff Johnson with panelists Marilyn Hoff and John Crofts. Conversations on preparedness by Catherine McMullen will follow them. And finally, Water Treatment and Storage by Brian Sinson will be our final session. Again, all of the class description, uh, descriptions and instructor bios are available to view in the handout section of your web webinar control panel, as well as on the homepage of the BeReadyUtah.gov website under the latest news section. You can also find them there. Now, before we begin our first session, I just want to uh, conduct a quick poll and you should see this showing up on your screen how did you hear about this webinar so please select one so each of our attendees today are invited to at this time select an option 
Um, and let's see here. Yes. I have about 60% voted so far. We'll give it another uh, few seconds or so, 10, 15 seconds. Almost at 80%. Okay, and we're going to close it in about three, two, one. All right, we're going to close that poll and we will share those results with you. And it looks like about 75% of our attendees today have um, learned about the webinar via email and 12% word of mouth. That's pretty similar to yesterday's results. So thank you very much for sharing that with us. Now, I'd like to encourage you to all go to your questions box right now, uh, if you'll find that on your control panel, and just type in a, in the question area, please feel free to type in your city or county where you're viewing from, where you where you reside or where you're viewing from today. We're just interested in knowing where you're from. So if you wouldn't mind, just right off the bat, going into your uh, questions tab there, open that up, it'll give you a chance to figure out how to use that and then be able to ask questions throughout the rest of the sessions today. So I appreciate everybody sharing that with uh, with us today. Just kind of helps us know where our messages are going, where this information is going. Uh, now I wanna thank all of our presenters for sharing their knowledge and expertise for being with us today. Also, I also wanna thank all of our, uh, our uh, webinar planning team from uh, the Division of Emergency Management, Be Ready Utah, USU Extension Service, American Red Cross, um, Disaster Discovery Center, and I apologize if I'm missing anyone else, but we want to pre, uh, thank them as well as our moderators for the sessions that will help be helping keep all of our sessions running smoothly today. So with that, again, I encourage you to type questions anytime throughout the day within the questions window. Uh, with that, I'll turn it over to our first moderator, Marilyn Albertson, to introduce our first session. So, uh, Marilyn, there you go.